Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton. And today, instead of doing a number talk, we are gonna do a what do you notice? I know we love playing this in class, so let's do it here. So I have the question, what do you notice? Already written out, and I drew up some dots. So what do you notice about these dots? So take a moment and really think about all the things that you can notice. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take some guesses since you're not here with me, but I'm gonna guess that some of you probably thought that it was five because I bet some of you thought it kind of looks like a 10 frame, but then you're like, wait a minute, it's not five, it's six. So I bet some of you kind of thought about this in your mind. Like that helped you? So I'm gonna guess that some of you said, okay, well I know if that's 10, then this is also 10. So that makes 24. I'm gonna guess some of you thought that. Tell me if I got that guess right. I'm gonna guess that some of you probably wondered, hmm, what would happen if I split this into groups? So I, I bet, some of you probably noticed that if you split it down the middle, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 on this side. So that means 12 are also on this side. So I bet some of you thought 12 plus 12 is 24. So there's 24 dots. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, I bet some of you thought if I split this into four equal groups, you could do another line down the middle. And let's check, Does every, is every group equal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six there, six there, six there, and six there. So let's see, I bet some of you said if I split it into four equal groups, there would be six in each group. So then maybe you're like, oh, I had 12, but I split it into a six and a six, and another six and a six. So six plus six plus six plus six, six plus six plus six plus six, plus six makes 24, so makes 24. Hmm, I'm trying to guess what else you might apply. I wonder, did anyone count them by twos? Did anyone put them in groups of two to count? Let's see, maybe you did, maybe you said, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I bet some of you did that too. So how many groups of two did it take to make 24? So let's find out how many groups of two. There's one group of two, two, three, four, five, six groups, seven, eight, nine, ten groups, eleven groups, twelve groups, two groups of twelve, I said that backwards, twelve groups of two make twenty-four, and you can see when it was reversed, we had two groups of twelve that made twenty-four. So many things you can notice just from looking at a picture. So, I wonder if I got all of the things that you are noticing about that. If I didn't, will you tell me in the comments so I can see what you are thinking about? I would love to read your comments. Okay, so today we're gonna do a story and our story is all about Paige sharing some gum. All right, so I once had a page when I taught fourth grade. I wonder if it's the same page. All right, so this story is called Bubblegum. All right, so here is the story, and I want you to read it with me, please. All right, ready, go. Paige has hmm pieces of bubblegum. She is going to give all of her pieces away to her hmm friends. 
wow, she's going to give it all away. She's not even going to keep any for herself. If every friend gets an equal amount of gum, how many pieces will each person get? Okay, so let's check this out with some numbers, okay? And then we're going to talk about what we know for sure. Okay, so your just right number set might be 24 and 4. Or it might be 48 and 6. Or 120 and 8. Or finally, if you want to give yourself a big, big challenge, maybe do one of the other sets first and this one last. 455 and 13. Woo! Okay, let's say in this story, let's choose this number set. 48 and 6. Okay, so let's reread it with our numbers in because that's important. We want to make the picture in our head. Don't forget, we always need to have the picture in our mind. So here we go. Paige has 48 pieces of bubble gum. She is going to give all of her pieces away to her six friends. If every friend gets an equal amount of gum, how many pieces will each person get? Okay, so what do we know for sure in this story? All right, so tell me something we know for sure. All right, I'm gonna guess you're gonna say, we know for sure she has 48 pieces of gum. You are right, she has 48 pieces of gum. We know she's gonna give them all away. So she's not even keeping any for herself. I wonder if it's a flavor she doesn't like or if she's just feeling generous. Hmm, we gotta check with Paige for that one. All right, so she's gonna give all her gum away to six friends. And we also know that each friend in this story is going to get an equal amount or an equal share of gum. It's like fair share, right? You have to share and be fair. or you know, then people might cry if you're not. So we're gonna equally share between six friends, 48 pieces of gum. All right, I can't wait to see how you solve this. Please make sure you check in with your teacher to see how you should turn in this work to her. See you later, guys. Bye.